Welcome back everyone. Here we go. That's where we left off last time. Got the old girl sat down on the Audi. So, before I go crazy and start welding these things together, we're going to strip out all of the wiring that's still, well, everywhere. Getting right in the way. Strip out, hopefully, the most part of the wiring in the engine bay. Probably take out most of the hose pipes as well. Clear it right up so we've got a bit more room for finagling. And then we're going to work out the measurements and hopefully get some bars in. So I am going to crack on. I'll catch you up in a bit. Change plans. Had to move the car about to get a tight starlight in. And now we're going to level off the car. But first, check this out. No, no, no. She is slammed. Actually, it's quite a good light. This is the natural wreck John's got to fix. Dot car style it. English axle, roll cage, all that stuff. Try and video some of that as it goes on as well. So, let's level this car up. Escort is now level to the Audi. Dean popped in to pop help out there. a little bit. Oh, just, just arrived. Just arrived. Missed that little fun bit. A couple of little clamps in just to somewhat hold it together. Bottle jack in there holding it up square. So come back here Monday. Start welding some bits and then try and secure the cars together. Right, this is where we currently stand. Dean's making them bits up. We have got that bit level. That bit level, can't really see that. There we go. Both the shell and the chassis level. Yes, it's, it's, it's welded in or tacked in. It's level. Yeah. Tacked? Tacked. <laughs> <laughs> the uprights to go on there. Weld them to the bar. Square up the shell, and then we are going to tap them to the chassis. Everything is now square in terms of the Audi, so all the back ends level, all the front ends level. Um, it's all up on jack stands at the minute to keep it that way. I have to shim the back jack stands to make it level. So now. We are working on trying to get the Escort level and square with the Audi chassis. Uh, I mean, we've already got the back bit done. So that's all in there, it's all level. Use the plumb line to make sure our center point of the Escort marries up with the center point of the Audi. And I've tacked that in for the minute just so it doesn't move. 
I mean, the front is actually square in terms of left to right. In terms of height, this side needs to go up a tiny bit, so I'll work on that in a minute. Uh, someone in the comments on my last video mentioned about putting the doors back on to make sure they're still square. Now, in all honesty, I hadn't actually thought about doing that. So, Paul, I appreciate your comment. Possibly saved me a bit of a headache later down the line with that. So, once I've got this thing square, all measurements tallying up, I will dig the doors back out, rehang them, and hopefully they still open and shut as they should. But we've got another little toy down there now. This is another project John's just taken on. It is a stock car, oval track race car for any Americans watching. This is a Toyota Starlet. Well, not a great deal left of it, I mean it is quite rotten to be honest. So that is having a full cage. John is currently working on a four link and an English rear axle for the back of it at the moment. So hopefully I might be able to get down here and film him cracking on with some of that. Hopefully learn some tricks how to make a roll cage. But anyway, I shall crack on with this and pick you up again shortly. Well, that has been a long three hours. So what have we done? Dismantled more of the car. So it's clearly been in a bit of a knock before because this front wing, well, it is quite clearly not an original front wing and it has been bodged on there. So it's an absolute nightmare getting that off. Spent ages straightening all this back out once I've got that off. But we are square now, so from this point here, right just inside the Audi on the floor, up to the lower, I still don't know what to call this, front leg bit is identical to over the other side. And in terms of centre points, centre point of the Audi is dead on centre with the Escort. So... It is now 5 to 10 in the evening, so I'm going to call it a night for tonight. But next time I'm here, we shall chuck a couple of bars in to support all the front end. Right, welcome back. I've had a good solid week off from doing anything on this thing. I had to recharge the batteries. I had to actually concentrate on doing my job to actually earn the money to pay for this thing. So not a lot has actually happened since I last had the camera in my hand. I did get those bits tacked in, or, well, fully welded in. So they're done, back piece is tacked in, all the measurements tally up. So what I need to do now is get all the rigging off of it, go up there, go and fetch the doors down, and hopefully, the doors will fit back on this thing. But between times, I managed to pick up this little uh, bandsaw here for 40 quid off Marketplace. Bit of a sucker for a new tool. But also, whilst I've been gone, John's managed to crack on with this thing a little bit more. It's actually looking quite cool now. So he's got some of the roll cage done in there. And I'm let going in there. Brackets at a four link. So that thing uh, is pushing on quite a bit. So I have had the Oracle, that is John Wood, run for everything with me on this thing, just to be absolutely sure. Don't want to take anything to chance. So we've whipped all the wheels off. We've run a straight edge up from the face of the hub and then we've measured off the straight edge to identical points on the chassis again we've put a straight edge on the side of here measured to the center of the struts so everything is absolutely on the money 
but we have got to get a little bit of a wiggle on because Dean is bringing his Scooby in here in the next day or two to crack on with doing some bits and bobs that he needs to do on that so I will start filming that as well because he's going to be doing a carbon Kevlar wide arch kit on it so if anyone's into bug eye Scoobies keep a look out for that try and film what I can that but I might leave a GoPro down here and then Dean can film bits if I'm not down here so yeah I'll update you on that when it happens but for now crack on with this get the doors on hopefully they fit I shall pick you up once I get the doors down that was an absolute challenge anyone that has taken off one of these doors off an escort before can vouch for how heavy they are and trying to get them down there on that little puny ladder by myself my god I genuinely thought I was going to die at one point so both doors are down because they're so heavy I am going to strip the guts out of them get all the wiring gone all the window mechanism gone glass gone speaker gone I'll leave the door handle and whatnot attached because that'd be a bad day if I don't end up putting the doors on and then not being able to open them back up that'd suck so I will put you on the tripod instead of me talking for this entire video I'll actually do something because I'm talking Amigo. <laughs> Door is stripped. What a nightmare. It's there. Let's hang it on. See what happens. You want candy camera? Say no. Like a glove. Like a glove. All right, there we go. Steve's run off because he's afraid of the camera. Both the doors are on. Door shuts are about as crap as they were before. This side's actually pretty decent. All the way around. Bearing in mind, the wing's not actually fully bolted on at the moment, so you kind of have to ignore this door shut. But yeah, that one's good. And then round this side, again, Wing's not really bolted on at this point. It's just clicked in. Door shut is good. All up there is about as good as it was before. This bit up the top here was always really tight. And you can see there where it used to actually catch. So that is as it was. But they shut lovely. Done. So doors are on, gone back to the Audi wheels. The BBS ones, turns out there's actually a crack in two other ones and I can't be bubble guarding them up, so I think I'll just throw them in the bin. But there she is, I'm gonna drop her down on the floor, scoot her out of the way, have a clean up, and then bug her off for today. Check that out. Bosh.
<laughs> so you're casually trying to run away from the camera around there. No, I'm just trying to get out of your way. <laughs> there you go. Oh mate, that looks so good. Welcome back. We are back down the workshop again. So, last time me and Steve realised it was gone 12 o'clock and we shot off home, so I don't really know where I left her. But we are there with the car. Both the doors are on, pretty sure I've run through all that before. She's back down on all four. Ready for Ben's car to come in now. So, what I'm going to get cracking on with now is removing all of this wiring harness that's still in the car. It's really starting to drive me mad trying to work around it every five minutes. So, pull all of that out. And look at the state of all that in there, it's just absolutely everywhere. So, we'll get rid of all of that. We'll get rid of that steering column because that's constantly getting in the way. Try and gut this thing out as much as possible so we can make a start with some metal work finally. So, I'll pop on the tripods and get to work. There we go. Look how much room that's cleared up in there. Just taking out a few coolant pipes and a whole bunch of wiring. Little coolant pipes down there, look. Loose pipes. That's just a small portion of the loom in this thing, so that's all your engine loom. That's all battery related stuff. Bit of What's that? That is engine bay loom, some of it. Look at that absolute mess down there. That is all engine stuff, huh? Not engine bay stuff, sorry. Not to mention the stack of wiring I've still got in here. All of that in the back there as well. I need to get some scales in and weigh all this, I bet that weighs a ton. It's all out, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge pile of wiring right there. That has got to weigh at least 10 kilos. It's got to be. There's absolutely no way I'm putting that back in the car. I'm going to try and learn how to do car wiring and rewire this entire thing. But look at that. She is all clear in the back, no more wiring to trip over. She's all clear up the front. And then the engine bay, again, no more wiring. Just a few vacuum pipes and what's that, power steering, brake lines, all that malarkey. ABS unit will be coming out, don't want none of that. But look at all that space there. It's crying out for a sidewinder manifold with a turbo sat here. Probably get a custom inlet made by Zach. He's the top man for that sort of thing. Probably have the uh, throttle body coming out this side. Make life a bit easier for getting boost pipes run into an intercooler. Uh, yeah. And then 
In other news, this is the uh, plan for the suspension tops. Something like that. Not actually these ones, because these are for a car that John's building at the moment. You get the idea, cut that in down there, get some custom shocks made to suit. And that gets over that little predicament we found ourselves in. But, for now, I'm going to end it for this one. It is getting quite late, it's quite cold. And I think the next step is actually trying to make some metal work for it. So, appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing and I'll catch you next time hopefully. Peace.